So if you say just um, how old you are, what your sport is, and where you're from. Um, I'm 17, I play soccer, and I'm from Kansas City. Okay. And you came here yesterday. Yep. And uh, you were diagnosed with vocal cord dysfunction. And uh, what were the symptoms you were having prior to coming here? Um, I had the feeling that I couldn't get air in and that I was always out of breath, no matter, like, even if I was just, like, walking and talking and stuff. And my legs would get super heavy, even when I was doing something that, like, shouldn't, my legs shouldn't get heavy from it. And I'd get lightheaded and dizzy. And I would hold my breath when I was running, and I was super tense all the time. And I'd get panic attacks on the field because I just couldn't get air in. And it always felt like I had just this lump in my throat, just like blocking my airways. And it's so super frustrating because I knew that like I wasn't out of shape. I ran all the time, um, and I knew I could do it, but I just couldn't breathe. So I couldn't, I couldn't keep going. So I'd have to take breaks all the time. Okay. And it was scary as a parent to watch this because I couldn't believe here she is getting ready to go play D1 soccer. And she is exercising all the time, but she's having trouble breathing, and it's not asthma. I had taken her to the doctor, the hospital, trying to figure that out. And then they just casually mentioned vocal cord dysfunction one day. So I watched all the YouTube videos and luckily found your office. So we made the trip all the way out here to do an intensive two days and are leaving so happy and so relieved. Mm -hmm. So things are things are a bit different for you. A lot different in a good way. One of the measurements we took was um, uh, using capnometry we measured your carbon dioxide levels mm -hmm. and found that you were a bit low yeah. in your carbon dioxide and so that is a sign of of overbreathing, of hyperventilation. So mm -hmm. a lot of your therapy focused on um, learning how to breathe less and get yeah. more. <laughs> Which is weird. <laughs> Which is weird. Yeah, yeah it's weird. So um, what was it like for you to go through that? Um, I'd always thought, I'd, I would always tell people, like, I can't get enough, I can't breathe enough. And then, so, when, like, I heard that, no, you actually need to breathe less. And it's, like, slow, steady, smooth, all that stuff. Um, and to not breathe from up here, but you're actually breathing from down here, that was really weird to me because I was like, okay, well, I've always breathed from here, like, it's got to be that, but you have to let your body kind of take over, and once I was able to start breathing from here, I was able to go longer, my legs didn't get heavy, I didn't get the lump in my throat, and my carbon dioxide levels went up significantly, and that was just from, like, one day of doing it. Yeah. And, and what, watching the last... 24 hours, I can tell she's in a calmer state and more mindful when she is participating in training. Yeah. I just feel like a lot more confident and I'm not like anxious all the time that I'm losing my breath. And I also learned that like something I do do that I mentioned earlier is I hold my breath, but holding your breath is obviously not good. And so if you're not holding your breath, then you're able to just keep a more like steady and consistent and you're not having to breathe as much mm -hmm. and making sure to not take those big gasps of air or anything like that, but to just keep it like calm, collected, smooth, and just always be breathing. Yeah. Yeah, you did you did great. <laughs> Thank you. You did great, yeah. Um, happy to help you out. Yes. There's the thunder. <laughs> Ooh. Look at Getting that. some well needed rain. Yeah. That's going to feel good. I, yeah. Like, I have to say, though, like, if I didn't come here, there's, like, probably no way I would have been able to, like, get through this season, too, and, like, our preseason and all that stuff. And, like, I'm excited to keep practicing it, and so then I can use it in everything that I do and make it just, like, my second nature. Like, I don't ever really have to think about it. Like, it's just my new way of breathing. So. Yeah. I'm super yeah. excited. Yeah, I am, too. Uh -huh. I think you're going to do great. Me, too. Okay. Uh, anything else, Mom? Nope. I'm just relieved. I felt like this was a major obstacle for her going into college. So now we have a year for her to practice this and perfect it um, mm -hmm. before she heads off to play college soccer. Right. I'm excited. I am too. Okay. Great. Great. <laughs>